And as long as there are those that remember what was, there will always be those that are unable to accept what can be. Once again, NBA champions. But they had a remarkable run. This team will be a force to be reckoned with. Derrick Rose, as far as I'm concerned, is finished. I mean finished as the Derrick Rose yeah. we both, we've okay. all known. Derrick, 2011 MVP, Rose! LeBron James is going back to Cleveland. So Dwayne Wade has signed with the Cleveland Cavaliers. You could not live with your own failure. I think James Harden is 30, 31 years of age. He's throwing a temper tantrum. James Harden wants out. He wants out by any means necessary. What did that bring you? Back to me. I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. People are always saying about the talk, and I talk, and I talk, and I talk, but guess who can walk? I be the best player in the league. I don't see why. I back it up! I back it up! You still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not of late. Well, you've had everybody else biting their nails, so I guess it's time for them to stop chewing. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, this is very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Hitting ahead for Wade. There he goes. Oh! The house of highlights. Here he goes. Oh my! Alley up. Look at this. Why not? Whoa. Why not? Alley up to Wade and he finishes. And oh, Wade. No. Baseball oh, no. pass to LeBron. Wade looking for the return to LeBron. Oh, they got what they paid for tonight, baby. That's what they came to see. Wade finds James. is going back to Cleveland. I'm a dude what makes my city happy. I love you. I'm back. James for the win. It's gone. LeBron James at the buzzer. Back to Iguodala. Up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. It's over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Cleveland! This is for you! What do you know about how this went down and what happened? He, was, he said he was done. He was fed up. He was totally disgusted, felt disrespected, minimized, and underappreciated. He's going to where he thought about going in 2010, which is to his hometown, Chicago Bulls. Seems like Dwayne Wade is uh, not too happy with the play of the Chicago Bulls. He doesn't like being on the outside looking into the playoffs. I hope they don't make the playoffs personally. Yeah. Because uh, they're not very good. Haven't been good since the trade. You think he's regretting that right about now? Considering all the drama, especially around Fred Hoiberg. Very no, good. but this is a divorce that's going to happen. It's just going to take some time. There it is. Redemption for Golden State. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete.
So Dwayne Wade has signed with the Cleveland Cavaliers. But how much did they improve? Well, I think they improved tremendously. I like that team a lot more than I did last year. Now Dwayne is rejoining, reuniting with LeBron James, and I'm going to give this up to you. You got to I mean, just get to go back and play with this boy LeBron James. Right. As tight as LeBron is with Melo, he loves himself some D-Wade, and D-Wade loves him back. It was very tempting because I don't know, I don't know what. <laughs> well, you were supposed to be here, Mr. Roll Your Ankle. You're doing 60 minutes, get out of here for an hour and You got no makeup. No, I ain't got no makeup. That's just the uh, light. That's the light. You can't you see. You got no makeup. You ain't got light. <laughs> he said you ain't the light. Oh, perfect pass. What a play from James. Brown James, the bounce for Wade. Back to LeBron. Oh, my. Oh, man. In the third quarter, by the way. What a dunk by LeBron. He's in the gear now. He's here. Has it been so far? You know what? It's been it's been great. It's um it's been weird though at the same time. <laughs> Every day, Someone traveling on the road Boy, with a guy good. that's your man. Mm -hmm. That is what is profound about this, and that is what's gonna make Cleveland even more formidable because they already got the roster. But now D Wade adds it. You guys are indeed peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yeah, I'm jelly though. I'm jelly. No, nah, I think you peanut butter. I think I'm jelly. Nah. Nah, I Hell think you peanut nah. butter. Hell no. Peanut butter dry as shit. Peanut butter strong. Peanut butter dry. Peanut butter consistent. It don't miss games. <laughs> you know, you can eat peanut butter without the jelly sandwich. You can just have a peanut butter salad. You can't just eat a jelly sandwich. No, you can't. What were the things that led to getting rid of Russell Westbrook? That's a monumental deal. Reporting Russell Westbrook on his way to Houston. The Thunder agreeing to trade the eight-time All-Star to the Rockets for Chris Paul. Russell Westbrook is coming to Houston. The Rockets can see eye to eye with the Lakers and the Clippers. Harden and Westbrook, both of them are unstoppable. You can't stop Westbrook from getting to the hole. You can't stop Harden, period. What they're doing right now looks special. I have never, ever seen anything like ever. these Houston Rockets. We about to turn it up another gear. Westbrook racing. Westbrook splits the defense. Oh, oh, oh goodness. Oh, that is illegal what he Whoa. does. Westbrook for the basket. Lays out of there. Whenever I came into the league, MVP D Rose, Defense mm -hmm. Player of the Year Joe Kemp, right. All Star Lou, Booze, Rip, all of them guys. The way that they used to talk to each other in practice is like, damn. You know, like if you can talk to MVP D Rose like that, mm -hmm. I know you gonna fuck me up when I do something like that. So that's what I came into. Derrick Rose is a little threatened by you because you have emerged. He's always been supportive of me of being aggressive. I mean, from what I can tell, the, the, the guy's always been in my corner. I just love the way that we're moving the ball. I love the way he's playing right now. Jimmy, the last couple of four or five games, been playing great basketball. And um, it's fun to sit down and watch him play the way that he's playing right now. John Levy. Looking. Finds Rose. Rose trying to get open, fires away! Bang! It's over! The Bulls win at the buzzer! What's up, B? You lying. Um. 
that might be traded to New York. What's the Bulls' motivation for moving a former MVP out of his hometown? I guess the franchise has decided there's only so much disappointment that, that one group can have. Why they had to move one of y'all? I, I, I have no idea. I don't know why I was traded, but I would like to tell him thank you. <laughs> thank you. For real. Do you expect him to deliver the Knicks to a championship? Hell no. We got a big one already, Reese, and Jimmy Butler has been sent, reunited with his former coach, Tom Thibodeau, in Minnesota. Derrick Rose is now officially a free agent. According to ESPN.com, the former NBA MVP cleared waivers on Monday after being waived by the Utah Jazz. Now Rose was dealt to Utah as part of the Cavaliers' trade deadline house cleaning. Derrick Rose has left the Cavaliers and is reconsidering his future playing basketball. Derrick Rose has signed a deal with the Timberwolves to reunite him with former coach Tom Thibodeau in Minnesota. And Jimmy Butler, who comes in with some familiarity, right? Mm -hmm. Played for coach Thibodeau in, in Chicago and played with uh, Jimmy Butler and Taj Gibson and a couple other people. How much did Derrick give you a lift in terms of energy-wise? Oh, he's, he's huge for it. I want the best for him. Like, we talk, but always, he knew that always had his back. And first to go, that can't, that play can't be completed. That's what Jimmy Butler's telling Rose right now. He's like, how did you do that? I mean, that was just ridiculous. Timberwolves, 11 total blocks tonight. And oh my goodness, Jimmy Butler, are you kidding me? Absolutely unconscious. The great block by Taj Gibson. It's the second time Derrick Rose now has taken on Rudy Gobert. The favors, and the Wolves force another stop. Rose, the spin move, getting some oohs and ahs. Tolliver for three! <laughs> you know, as Derrick Rose pushes it back up to an 11-point lead. Rose attacks, challenges Gobert, and Gobert couldn't get there in time. Rose playing really well for the Timberwolves in the starting nod here. This is a lot of wild moments here. Derrick Rose is really turning back the clock. The stop, the go, the finish. 46 for Rose. 50. A half a century for Derrick Rose here tonight. Trapped down by Rubio. Ingles will fire for three. That won't drop. Another rebound. Exum has it blocked in the corner by who else? Derrick, 2011 MVP, Rose. What you were feeling and and what was going through your mind and heart at, at that moment? Um, it's... I get you 50, boy! Put on tone by! Yeah! My bad, I'm gonna interrupt. All right, Jim Rowe. The Miami Heat are once again NBA champions. LeBron James captures that elusive title he so desperately coveted. There's a great star as we see Kevin Durant it's a, it's a bitter disappointment, but they had a remarkable run. You see the emotion from Durant pouring out. This team will be a force to be reckoned with. Will the Thunder regret this trade? Did this surprise you, or did the people in the inner circles of the NBA see this coming? Not this soon, because the deadline for an extension for Harden is Wednesday night at midnight. The Thunder were well aware that teams like the Houston Rockets, the Dallas Mavericks, the Phoenix Suns, and others were all prepared to offer Harden the max. They were looking for Harden to be willing to take a little less than the max to stay when the sides couldn't come to terms. The side needs to go to the front of the rim and pick up that garbage. 42-41 in Westbrook, hobbling away. But if they have to sew it and fix it, and they're hoping, of course, it's something they can fix, then you're talking about a much longer recovery, something that's going to compromise the rest of the season. Stephen A., uh, the news again coming in moments ago, Kevin Durant heading to the Golden State Warriors. How are you viewing this move from Durant? Well, I'm viewing it as the weakest move I've ever seen from a superstar, plain and simple. That's just how I look at it. Uh, it's not that he's leaving Oklahoma City and you depart for the team that beat you when you're on the cusp of getting to the finals yourself or ultimately winning the championship for the franchise that you've been with since you've come into the NBA. I think it's incredibly weak. And Durant throws it down. Oh, he it in. Durant for three. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. There it is, redemption for Golden State. James 
Harden is the greatest scorer in the game today. This brother is something special. He's that sensational. He can get to the hole. He can pull up long-range three. He's got a mid-range game. He's got a nasty handle. And the Kia NBA Most Valuable Player goes to James Harden. I'll see y'all next year. <laughs> Swag. Kevin Durant way outside. Delivers! That's the same spot where he had it in game three last year. Back to back. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. Give an isolation one-on-one -on -one ball. It's Durant with Shepard defending. Kevin Durant races one through. And hurt. He is holding on to his right Achilles. The first four games, the Raptors were dominant and lead three games to one. But all of a sudden, Golden State has a new addition. Kevin Durant will play, and Kevin Durant will start. Dr. trying to stay with Durant, knocks it away, and Durant slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. And Durant grabbing that right leg. It's the right calf that put him out. What happened here? Well, Kevin Durant is going to sign with the Nets four years, $164 million. He will join Kyrie Irving. Are back in the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2010 as they eliminate the Houston Rockets in five games. LeBron James, superb. Didn't turn out as planned. So many different obstacles that we, as a team, had to overcome. Not a bad year, but obviously not the way we want to end it. Rockets have agreed to trade Russell Westbrook to Washington for John Wall in a protected first in 2023. This was a trade of two players on two teams who wanted to go in the other direction. Russell Westbrook wanted to be in Washington and John Wall wanted to play with, John, with uh, James Harden, wanted to go to Houston. Should Harden want to stay with the Rockets to play with Wall? This dude is one of the greatest offensive weapons this game has ever seen. The bottom line is James Harden wants out. He wants out by any means necessary. Yes, let's talk about James Harden. Now he missed practice on Sunday and they said that was because of COVID-19 protocols, but there was a video that emerged over the weekend that shows James Harden allegedly at a strip club. Right, he also was spotted at Little Baby's birthday party where he gave him $100,000 cash. <laughs> he gave him a watch. James, what was the point that you were trying to get across when you went to Atlanta and Vegas when training camp was starting? I was just training. I know you saw the story of James Harden and a rookie named Jay Sean Tate. So Jay Sean Tate uh, had a ball thrown at him. From James Harden. Now, James Harden is lashing out because he wants to get out. James Harden is throwing, I think James Harden is 30, 31 years of age. He's throwing a temper tantrum. But you coming here and trying to start confrontation with teammates. Out of shape and a bit overweight and by at least 12 to 15 pounds from what I can tell. There with no training camp, no preseason. When you have certain guys in the mix that don't want to buy in all this one, it's going to be hard to do anything special, do anything good as a basketball team. No, we can't dwell it down on it because it's only been nine games. Like, come on, man. You want to jump off the cliff off of nine games? It's a lot of basketball still we play. Um, I'm, I don't feel, me personally, I don't feel the trade at all. Um, my interest is playing with John Wall, to be brutally honest. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, um, the disrespect started way before, you know, any interview. We're just not good enough. Um, uh, obviously, chemistry, talent-wise, just I love this city. Um, I literally, you know, have done everything that I can. I mean, this situation is, is, is crazy. You know, it's something that uh, I don't think can be fixed. So, um, yeah, thanks. Looking into the past, what was it like to play with James? What do you remember about him as a teammate? Because you have played together. It was fun. Obviously, the story of the week was James Harden getting traded to the Brooklyn Nets. They seem to be meshing together better now than even when they played together in OKC. We were young uh, in Oklahoma City. You know, we're, we're grown men now. We really know the game of basketball now. Um, you know, we're not those young guys that just run around and want to just shoot and, and dunk all day. For us to bring it together now and, and, and combine what we've learned over this time, and try to play great basketball, I think it was pretty seamless for us. Martin, the Euro for two, the beard. 
Harden to the cutter, the layup. So nice to watch the ease in which Harden makes the game for his teammates. Accelerates to the hoop, James Harden. Mismatch, Harden sizes him up. Step back, Jay, he's got it. James Harden already telling him, keep going. This is a, a great friendship, too, that we're seeing rekindled on the floor. Fade off one leg. A KD and Harden duo. Absolutely unbelievable. 25. Oh, man. Make it 28. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Step back. Grant steps back and triples the three. The beard puts up a triple double. Yeah, in this world. Yes, sir. The double. Uh, I think it's going to be amazing TV to watch. I cannot wait to watch oh, it. My goodness. Gifted. <laughs> it's all right. Nice. Nah. Keep going. What was it like building chemistry on the fly? I mean, when you when you play with really really good players, it's uh it's pretty easy.